It's been years since the last solar eclipse in the U.S. But one is coming up in just over a week. CBS 17 meteorologist Dave Downing tells us what we can expect. It's that time again. No, not a 3D movie, but a solar eclipse. It's the first full solar eclipse in the U.S. since 2017. That one was a pretty big one. For the next couple of days, many small towns like Franklin are hoping to become the capital of this total solar eclipse. The path of totality went right through Franklin, western North Carolina, where Wes and Michael were six years ago. It's going to be a little bit different this time around than that one. We'll talk about that here in a second. First, let's look at the path of next Saturday's eclipse. It's a western U.S. event. Oregon into Nevada, Utah, New Mexico, and Texas. We'll get about 50% of the eclipse here in central North Carolina. Now, you heard me say an annular solar eclipse. That's where this one differs in 2017. That one was a total eclipse just talk about a jaw-dropping phenomenon the moon is closer to earth in its orbit in that instance so it covers up the entire surface of the sun meanwhile next week's is annular meaning ring so we're gonna see a ring of fire around the sun basically the moon is not gonna look quite as big this time around you need these glasses anytime you look at an eclipse unless you're right in the path of totality and the sun is entirely covered which won't happen until next April let's look at the timeline line for next Saturday for the partial eclipse here. It'll start around noon, peak at around 120, 49%. It'll wrap up around 245. Of course, none of this matters if we have clouds. Let's hope for a sunny Saturday. Dave Downey, CBS 17 News.